Hey everyone, welcome back to Linux Network. Alma Linux OS 9.6 has been released, and if you've never heard of Alma Linux before, don't worry, I'm going to explain what it is, what makes this new version special, and why it matters, especially if you're someone who's curious about Linux servers, enterprise system, or just looking for a stable, free operating system. So, grab a drink, sit back, and let's get into it. First off, what exactly is Alma Linux? Well, Alma Linux is a free and open source Linux operating system. It's designed to be a direct drop-in replacement for something called Red Hat Enterprise Linux, or RHEL for short. Now, RHEL is a popular, stable and secure Linux distribution used by tons of big companies, data centers and developers around the world. The only catch is, Red Hat Enterprise Linux isn't free. It requires a subscription if you want official access to software updates and support. That's where Alma Linux comes in. It takes the same source code that Red Hat uses to build their enterprise Linux and creates a free, community-driven alternative. It's fully compatible with Red Hat Enterprise Linux, meaning software made for it will work just fine on Alma Linux too. This makes it a great choice for businesses and individual users who need a rock-solid Linux system without the price tag. And with every major RHEL update, Alma Linux follows right behind with its own release just like what happened now with Alma Linux OS 9.6. On May 22, 2025, the Alma Linux OS Foundation officially announced the release of Alma Linux OS 9.6, codename Sage Margay. Yep, they give each version a fun codename. This one's named after a type of wildcat called a Margay. But cute animals aside, this release is packed with important updates, improvements and new features that developers, system administrators and anyone running Linux servers will definitely want to know about. So, let's break it down. One of the biggest highlights of this new release is that it comes with newer versions of several key tools that help monitor system performance, debug problems and optimize software. For example, Elfutils 0.192, a tool used to inspect and analyze executable files. Valgrin 3.24.0, a popular tool for detecting memory leaks and bugs in programs. SystemTap 5.2 a tool for diagnosing performance issues on running systems. And PCP 6.3.2, which stands for Performance Copilot, a tool for collecting and analyzing system performance data. If you don't work with these tools daily, just know they're like a mechanic toolkit for a Linux server and newer versions means better, faster and more accurate troubleshooting. Next up, there are major updates for people running web applications. Alma Linux OS 9.6 now includes updated versions for popular server software like Maven 3.9, a tool used by developers to build Java applications. MISQL 8.4, one of the most widely used open source databases. Nginx 1.26, a fast, lightweight web server. And PHP 8.3, a programming language used for web development. These newer versions means better speed, improved security and new features for websites and online apps running on Alma Linux. This version also tightens up security with updates to key system components. CE Linux Policy 38.1.53, which controls what apps and services are allowed to do on the system. SSSD 2.9.6, a tool that manages access to external authentication sources like LDAP directories or Microsoft Active Directory. These updates help keep systems safer from threats, making sure that only authorized actions are allowed. For developers and software builders, this release also comes with updated compilers and programming languages. GCC 11.5, the GNU Compiler Collection. LLVM 19.1.7, a modern modular compiler infrastructure. Go 1.23.6, a popular language for cloud services and command line apps. And Rust 1.84.1, one of the fastest growing languages known for its safety and performance. Having the latest versions means better performance, new features and improved support for modern applications. Alma Linux OS 9.6 also makes networking a little faster and more reliable with Network Manager 1.52, the tool that manages network connections, and IPRoot 6.11.0, a collection of tools for managing network interfaces and traffic. This makes it easier to configure wired and wireless connections, VPNs and advanced networking setups. If you're using containers or virtual machines, basically isolated environments for running apps and services, Alma Linux OS 9.6 has good news for you too. 
It now comes with Podman 5.4.0, an alternative to Docker for managing containers. Builda 1.39.4, a tool for building container images. Libvir 10.10, a library for managing virtual machines. And QMU 9.1, an open source emulator and virtualizer. They've also added new packages like SnapQuest and SnapHost to improve virtualization, especially for confidential computing where you want to keep virtual machines secure and isolated. And as a bonus, there is now a tech preview of KVM support for IBM Power Systems, which means more powerful hardware options are becoming available for enterprise use. To round things off, Alma Linux OS 9.6 also includes newer versions of other essential software like Git 2.47.1, the popular version control tool, Git LFS 3.6.1 for handling large files in Git repositories, Apache 2.4.62, a trusted web servers, and Node.js 22, a JavaScript runtime for building web apps. These updates help keep everything running smoothly, securely, and in line with modern standards. In case you're wondering, yes, Alma Linux OS 9.6 still runs on Linux kernel 6.14, just like its upstream counterpart. This kernel version is stable, well-tested, and optimized for enterprise environments. If you want to try it out, Alma Linux OS 9.6 is available for download right now from the official Alma Linux website. You can grab installation ISOs for several system architecture, including 64-bit, which is most common for laptops and desktops, ARCH64 for devices like Raspberry Pi or cloud servers, PowerPC 64-bit Little Indian, mostly for enterprise hardware, and IBM System Z for those giant mainframe computers. If you're already running an older version of Alma Linux 9, you can upgrade to 9.6 pretty easily. Just open your terminal and run the following commands. And as always, it's a good idea to check the official release notes on the Alma Linux website before upgrading, just in case there are any important changes or issues you should know about. So, there you have it. Alma Linux OS 9.6 is out and is packed with updates to make your Linux system faster, safer and more developer friendly. It's a great example of how the open source community can step in and offer enterprise quality software without the enterprise level price tag. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more Linux and open source content and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. I'm curious, are you using Alma Linux or maybe another RHEL based distro like Rocky Linux? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.